Mark Latham's Outsiders. Mark, good morning to you. Good to be with you, Alan. Well, I talk, we could talk for hours. Before I do, Bettina Arndt is due to speak at Sydney University on September 11, which is uh, less than a week away, Tuesday of next week, about the quote-unquote rape crisis and the same sorts of things that you've been saying, that it is not a crisis at all at university. But it's being sponsored by the Sydney University Liberal Club. It's close to two weeks since the club applied the Liberal Cub to the University for a venue. Bettina Arndt wrote to the left-wing Vice-Chancellor Michael Spence to try to hurry things up. Spence wrote to the club president Jack O'Brien to say, quote, We recognise that one of the fundamental roles of the university is to be a place where ideas can be freely discussed, including those that, those that some may view as controversial. As you know, the Sydney University Liberal Club has been approved to host a talk by Bettina Arndt next week addressing campus culture. In regard to your request for security to be present which I understand you made at the onset of your application, and here's the bit. I'm able to advise that the campus security team has now completed its assessment and recommends that three dedicated security resources should be sufficient to provide a suitable operational response to the event, supported by business-as-usual resources, consistent with numerous events, held across our campus by staff, students and our broader community, the dedicated security resources will be charged on a cost recovery basis. So, Mark, a law-abiding outfit has to pay for the right to be law-abiding. The thugs don't pay. Well, that's just plain wrong. We've seen this in Victoria where the Antifa radicals disrupting events by Milo Yiannopoulos and Lauren Southern that the people trying to exercise their free speech have got to pay the cost of the police keeping the idiots out of the venue. So instead of charging the thugs and the criminals for what they've done wrong, the people who've done nothing wrong, the innocent party, just trying to speak and have a meeting, have got to pay the police costs. So Michael Spence, unfortunately, has brought this principle to Sydney University. But, Alan, it just shows you that uh, the truth has become very dangerous, hasn't it? The truth that universities are actually safe spaces and places for women. Uh, This is what Bettina Arndt has demonstrated with her statistics, that universities are pretty well the safest spot in the broader community in terms of um, safety for women. Um, She just wants to stand up and say that. And And that doesn't suit their story. And they're going to have to pay... Seven hundred. I've just had a note. They've been granted a room. They'll have to pay $700 for security. Well, they've got to pay for telling the truth. Pay for telling the truth. Bugs and the wrongdoers pay. The people doing the right thing, putting the truth out there, have got to pay for it. So it's quite ridiculous. But, you know, the universities have gone down the wrong path here. Universities are supposed to be an export industry, promoting Australia around the world. And they've accepted what is effectively left-wing propaganda, that there's some problem with rape and sexual assault. The statistics don't bear that out. Why would Michael Spence be part of a system where he's diminishing the international reputation of his university by accepting the sort of propaganda that came out of the Human Rights Commission about this. You see, the universities are fouling their own nest. This is extraordinary stuff. Last week, the university hosted Socialism 2018. It was billed as Sydney's largest left-wing conference. Do you think they were charged for extra security because no security is needed because it's only the feral left who are aggressive and protection is required for speakers who offend them? There'd be no protest when the left are conducting a conference. Well, absolutely. And there's another big principle here. As taxpayers, we're all funding what should be the guiding principle of a university's uh, activity, and that is academic inquiry. Uh, The truth and academic debate should be placed in front of university students on campus free of charge because we're paying for it as taxpayers. So this is a a double charge against Bettina Arndt and and the organisers Mm. of the meeting, Mm. and that's plain wrong. I mean, Mm. Michael Spence should be writing a letter to say the guiding principle of our university is truth and academic inquiry at any cost, at any cost that will be met by the university, not the people holding the meeting. Mm. Or the thugs. If they have to be... If we we have to protect law-abiding people from thugs, then the thugs should be made to pay.